Welcome back, and today I am in front of the magic tree. Started calling it the magic tree, um, you know, but it's a uh, obviously it is a festive tree, and these are the decorations that people have submitted for me in front. I had a bit of trouble trying to dock them all, um, but I'm, I'll try and get a video for you in time for tomorrow. Of course, it's all tricky because you know I was going to actually take a couple of days off, and then I was like, hang on a minute, I haven't even built the tree yet. So, but then the tree is built, I just haven't put the decorations on it, why need? So uh, I'll try and get that done, but no promises, because I'm so busy over these next couple of days. As you all will be, or not, depending on uh, how festive you're getting, I guess. So here I am making a real compact reactor, um, and then I'm filling in the gaps with power tanks, because I wanted to make the most lightweight frame with a decent amount of power for my turrets because this is basically going to be a miniaturized Hail Mary only instead of using the body as shielding the body of the main ship as shielding um, I'm going to just forego that because it's going to be so small the idea is that if someone shut your turret off you would evade buying your turret and put it back on <laughs> um, it features an improved docking system for the arms and much smaller arms holding it rather than a centralized housing um, but uh, I do plan to make another one of these. Um, it's very simple. We've got power and st power storage coming off each sides, you know, on the axis, and then uh, engines at the back. Um, once the engines are done, it's just a case of putting. I think I have a little glass canopy that went over in the end. Um, but here we are going on with the arms. Took a little bit of tweaking to get the arms position right. And I had a great time hiding the uh, enhancers with a little bit of hole. Obviously you can only hide it on one side, but um, that actually works quite well because there's another turret in the way, you know, because there's two of them. So they kind of protect each other. Um, the only thing you've got to worry about is obviously the, but them being shot off their docking modules. So that's why I've put a little bit more armor around there. They should be shielded, they've still got to take your shield down before they can, you know, damage the docking module, but... Uh, Anyway, so just sort of done a little bit more detail on uh, these bits here because, you know, they're the bits that people will look at. Um, and uh, also just to note, you can dock it from the outside there as well. There's nothing in the way. I was thinking about using Plex doors to cover it up, actually, because that would work. You know? Oh, uh, inspired by the shroom copter, I decided to make uh, some little wings out of shields. I think they look kind of cool once you finish putting the hull over and you know I like exp leaving some stuff exposed it's like my thing at the moment is exposed ship internals I don't know why but I just think that it looks cool if you can see what's behind there you know it's kind of like when people buy a clear computer you know it's like there's no real advantage to it at all other than the fact that you can see what's back there so because not everybody watches these speed build videos, you know, so um, it's just interesting to see what people put there. And also, some 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 of the uh, ship internals give off some real nice lighting effects, like the uh, power tanks give off a real nice green glow, which is uh, very useful. So there we go. We've got our rudimentary cockpit. Um, just putting on the hull detailing, really. Again, I use my one group system, so all the tanks are in one group, all the, uh, the shields aren't in one group, saying that, uh, but the thrusters are. So thrusters and tanks, all one group. Um, and obviously this ship isn't going to actually have any weapons. I was going to put on some BB, BB rockets, because I thought, well, if my turrets are auto-firing, I'm going to have all the time in the world to lock on and fire BB rockets. So that's something I'm going to add on to another version. I'm just going to release this version and build another one because it took me 45 minutes. It's only a small ship. I'm kind of liking building these small ships because you can actually get them 100% done. Uh, it's called the uh, Spore Chaser. Again, trying to keep the mushroom theme. So here we are building the turret. Now, as you can see here, I start off with a base of power tanks, two of them. That provides a nice buffer when they're firing because these things will draw off the ship and charge up those tanks before, you know, while they're firing or before they even start firing. Also, because the grouping is 
10 max before you hit the penalty. I wanted to make eight, but you know, for each turret. But the, on this model, we've just gone with four because you know, it's a development tree. So it's got one power reactor along the bottom there, you can see, and then I fill the rest in with shields. I mean, to be honest, that little power reactor isn't really there to do anything other than um, supply it with power when I'm moving it. Um, and you'll see what I do to move them in a second because when I copy this I just whack a few thrusters on the back. Thought I'd use um, just red, little red circles made of lights. Kind of had a nice effect. So now we buy another one and whack it on the other side and you can see here I can't move it so I put a bunch of thrusters on the back corner and there you go, done. Take the thrusters off and it's finished. So um, I think I had to give myself some, yeah, Bobby AIs. So we turn them on to turret mode. I really wish there was a way to level your turrets once they're finished shooting, because it looks okay like this, but it looks so derpy after it's been shooting at stuff, because they're just sort of all pointing in different directions. <laughs> I'm gonna be following up this build with a quad turret design, um, and it will have an even smaller mothership if that makes sense main ship but um, I mean you when you look at it ah here we go we found some enemies so this isn't sped up one down I look at the other guy two down I look at the other guy three down now they're only pirates and they're not even like you know amazing pirates that was a turret off of my hailstorm <laughs> um, but yeah it the job it's you know it works um, and they look kind of cool when they're firing too um, I would like to sort of style the turrets a little bit more but this is a prototype so uh, oh and it doesn't land either because the derpy turrets make it sort of fall over note to self you need a way to get in the ship <laughs> when you've landed on the surface but yeah, that's the Spore Chaser. There's going to be a link in the download, uh, sorry, in the description, so you can download the ship and have a little play with it. They're quite cool for dueling. Uh, they do a lot of damage. <laughs> um, I can't guarantee that you'll last very long if you put two of these against each other, because uh, they just don't miss, ever. Unless you're, like, well, no, they just don't miss. Unless you're facing, if he gets behind you, you might be in trouble. <laughs> but you'd be surprised shoot behind themselves for quite quite some distance they do turn all the way around anyway thanks for watching happy holidays see you next time That view, I'd play with that view. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I've killed someone, finally. First thing I tried to build was my surfboard, <laughs> and obviously that doesn't really work. You have to get in the cop. And release the docking clamp on the end. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's rammed me. That's unfortunate. A free look, a zoom, and the character will sort of pin. So as you can see, I'm rotating like that. Uh, normal movement controls, same as if you're running about. So uh, guns don't actually fire yet. So and also large ships can only have the. Um... Oh no! Right, press X zoom, zoom. Right, burn a little bit longer. Towards the blue thing. Twenty nineteen, sixteen fifty. Of course, God that kills everyone. True, true. <laughs> Other than that, I'm at a bit of a loss. But Camino anyway, Summer, I pure amazing, Fantas Longhorn, and Seron sixteen play. <laughs> Bot survival.